Hey family, it's Chrissy with the Mobile Home Diva. In today's video, I am going to be touring this beautiful home. The name of this home is The Providence. Beautiful home, I can't wait to show it to you. I'm not gonna waste any time. I'm just gonna get right in to the video. Now, this is the front of the home. It's a three bedroom, two bath. I love the two-tone textures. I'm gonna see if I can walk around. It's against the fence. I think I got a little space though to show you what the back of the home is. Sometimes I'm a little leery. I'm out here by myself and I don't know what's back here, but if something happens, I need you to call Walter, okay? All right, so this is the back of the home. This is what the back looks like. So, all right, this is what you see when you walk in. This home was just put together, so it's not trimmed. You've got a nice long entryway here. You could do a lot of stuff with this entryway. I could see a nice long table here with lamps on either side. You've got the plugs or e either a nice bench and a table. It's really up to you. On the other side of this wall, you've got your kitchen. We'll get to that in a minute. When you come in from the door, you're facing the living room and the dining room. So this area with the fireplace and the beams is the living room. So you've got all of the space here. You've got either, I, I can't tell, it's, I, I'm assuming that's electric because I don't set a gas stove in here. But you've got your electric fireplace here. Really nice, love the wide planks. You've got wide planks in the floor. And in this area where the sliding glass door is, this is your dining room. So lots of space in both. Lots of space in both areas to make it comfortable for your family. Really nice. And then your kitchen is over here. Look at this huge island, you guys. This island is absolutely ridiculous. This island is ridiculous. Beautiful. I love the countertops. Love the color of the countertops. You've got pure white cabinets in here. Love that industrial sink. Really nice. Look at all of the storage space that you have in here. Really lovely. Love that big picture window. In addition to the storage space, you also have a pantry here. Not a large pantry, but hey, it is a pantry nonetheless. And it has four shelves in here. But I would use these, honestly, from all of my extra appliances, cause you've got all of this space right here for pantry space. So really nice, well done. Love the color of the walls in this kitchen. The color of the walls in the kitchen is like a cucumber melon but the rest of the house is like a taupe. So really lovely. Love it, love it, love it. You've got stainless steel appliances in here. Not often that we see in these homes, the refrigerator that has the ice maker and the water on the door. That is a nice feature. You've got pot drawers next to the stove and you've got these op this open shelf in here. So that's a nice feature as well. You've got over these cabinets, you have drawers. And over these cabinets, you have drawers. So really lovely. You've got this nice, large, deep sink. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Love it. Really nice. All right, so let's go see what else we got in this home. To the right here, past the dining room, are the additional rooms. You've got, we'll start right here. First door to the left is the bathroom. 
So this is your second bathroom. It has a transom window. You have one sink, but you have a lot of counter space and you have an upper cabinet in addition to lower cabinet. So that is nice. That is not something that you often see in these modular homes. So really lovely. You've got all of the space in the bathroom, certainly enough space for everyone. Really lovely. Did I mention that this is a three bedroom? This is a three bedroom, two bath. This is bedroom number one. This bedroom is, is, is kind of small, but you know, the, the, the it'll be right for the person that chooses this home. Cause this home would be perfect for me and my husband. And this would be the perfect size for an office. So it's all in what you need, okay? Really nice. This would be perfect for me and my husband. So that's bedroom number one. Across from bedroom number one, you have bedroom number two. This is also not a really large bedroom. It's slightly larger. Might even be, it looks like it might be a hair larger than the one across the hall. But this will be a great second bedroom for us. Really nice, because if company's coming, they're just coming to sleep, right? <laughs> two standard closets. Bedroom number two. And now I kind of ignored this space because I wanted to show it to you last. So when you come down this hallway to these bedrooms, you've got the bathroom and the bedroom here, and then you've got a bedroom here. But this is the space that I wanted to save for last. This is going into your laundry room. So this is like an office type area. You can have your computer here. This would be excellent for sewing or a craft room. You've got all of these cubbies up here for storage. This large transom window, really lovely. And then you turn the corner to get to your laundry room. So your washer and dryer will go here. And then you've also got space around this corner. I'm standing at the dryer and behind the dryer is enough space for whatever size deep freezer you would like. So really lovely, really lovely. And the green that's in the kitchen is in this laundry room. Really nice. You've got a window that opens in here. And again, you've got this beautiful craft slash office slash whatever you choose it to be room. Just a lot of space. Really nice, really nice. So, so far this house is Given what it's supposed to give you guys, back through the living room, we've got the master. The master is over here. Nice size space for your master. You've got two windows in here. Really lovely. And then you've got your master bath here. So when you walk in, you've got your two sinks here. Lots of storage space. You've got this wonderful and unique soaker tub. Really pretty. You've got your transom window up there. Really nice. You've got a window that opens. You've got your toilet room here. You got a large shower with the rain shower shower head. Really nice. I saw one of these in one of the homes. You probably already saw it. It was so big. I, I could lay down in this one though, but it was huge. It was way bigger than this. Really nice. And then right here, you've got your master closet. Not a huge closet, but adequate space. I could live with it. This would be perfect for me. And I've got additional storage right here. Really lovely. This would be perfect for me. Really lovely. You know, I got to try this, you guys. <laughs> I, got, I have never gotten in one of these tubs. I got to try it. I hope you can see me. But I just want to see how much space Oh, 
this is nice. This is nice. This is perfect. And this tub is not too big. My tub at home is too big. It is ridiculous. You have to get inside it to clean the other side. This is beautiful. You know I had to show it to you. This is nice. I am out of breath. This is perfect. This is perfect. I could lounge here. I would put my thing across and have my tablet, my phone, a glass of tea because I don't drink. This is perfect. Okay. Let me get out of their tub before I go to sleep. Really lovely. Really lovely. Let's go see. I'm so out of breath. Let's see how much this house costs. All right. Total price for this house includes setup, delivery, set delivery within 50 mile radius. Any additional mileage would be extra. The trim out, the white vinyl siding, steps to the exterior doors, heating and air unit, and appliances that are in here. Total cost plus tax, 145. $145,000. Really lovely. Nice price on this home. You guys, this is a modular home out here at Custom Homes of Cordell. I don't work for the company. I tour these homes because I love touring them. If you're interested, have any questions whatsoever, check the description box. You can give them a call, okay? Thanks so much for watching. The Mobile Home Diva.